You see, there's a common denominator between us, between us. And that is Jesus Christ, he said that if I don't go, he won't come. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. John chapter 16, verse 7. It is expedient, this is simple English. Mm -hmm. It is expedient for you, it's better for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the comforter will not come unto you. But if I go, I will send him. He's not talking about himself. If I don't go, he won't come. But if I go, I will send him. That is the Holy Spirit. Right. So now, he says, if it is the Holy Spirit, see, now we are, you know, we are mature people. It's, that's the easiest thing in the world to say, is the Holy Spirit. I said, right, wait, 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 wait. He's telling you that if I go, don't go, he won't come. But if I go, I will send him. So that means the Holy Spirit was not there with him. This comforter was not there with him. If it is the Holy Spirit, then it doesn't make sense because in the book of Luke, first chapter, verse 41, it tells us that Elizabeth had the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, before Jesus was born. Did she? Luke, if you want me to get the Bible, open it and read it. Luke chapter 1, verse 41 says, and Elizabeth had the Holy Ghost. Then it says, and John the Baptist had the Holy Ghost from his mother's womb. Did it? That's what your book says. He had the, what it means, I don't understand. But it says, and John the Baptist had the Holy Ghost from his mother's womb. Then it tells us that this Holy Ghost was helping Jesus in his ministry, was helping the disciples. Because when they went out on the mission of preaching and healing, <coughs> I'm asking with whose help, if not the help of the Holy Ghost, when they did the miracles, the disciples. <coughs> and they preached, the disciples, with whose help? Then before Jesus parted, he said, receive ye the Holy Ghost. Receive means, like I'm saying, receive this Holy Book. But I won't give it to you. <laughs> you think that's what Jesus did? He said, receive ye the Holy Ghost. Did they or didn't they? They received it on his resurrection. No. He said, receive, I'm telling you, receive now, not when you die and when you're resurrected, you'll get this book. No, I said, no, not this. Receive this, brother. Yes. Receive this. My, my sister, I said, receive ye the Holy Ghost. Did Elizabeth have the Holy Ghost? Came upon her. Right, so she had it. Right. Did John the Baptist have the Holy Ghost? He had them. He, he. Then, then he says, if I don't go, he won't come. But he's there already with everybody. Everybody seems to have got the Holy Ghost. And you say, no. He say, he, they, he's going to say, afterwards. What do you mean afterwards? Elizabeth had it. John the Baptist had it. The disciples of Jesus had it. And Jesus said, receive. Then he said, when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you to all truth. All your problems is going to solve. So 2,000 years have gone and I'm asking all the people who claim to have the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, every church says it, Jehovah's Witnesses say they got it, Seventh-day Adventists they say got it, and the Lutherans, the Roman Catholics, the Dutch Reformed churches, everybody say he's got the Holy Ghost. Unless they're all lying. They all say they got it. So I'm asking them, this Holy Ghost in 2,000 years, what did he tell you about problem of racism? But Jesus already didn't tell you. Give me. I want only one. He said, I have yet many. Many in English means more than one. And he'll guide you into all truth. All means more than one. I take it. I just want one new thing that the Holy Ghost told any Christian church in 2,000 years. Which Jesus already didn't tell you in so many different words. One. In John, first episode of John, chapter 4, verse, verse 1, verse 3 says, It says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit's way of God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. Mm. You remember that? Mm. Right. The false prophet is a false spirit. True prophet is a true spirit. This word spirit is used synonymous here for a prophet. Beloved, be, beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. How do you know a false prophet? He's got a false spirit. True prophet is got a true spirit. But how are we to know? Is it the spirit that confesseth 
that Jesus is the Christ is of God. You read that? The spirit that confessed that, look, he said that Jesus is the true Messiah, Christ, the Messiah, is of God. You remember reading that? Mm. Right. So I said, now look, this is your book is giving you a test to apply. But you are te people are terrified. I'm telling you, look, this is what he said. To find out the truth from the false, this test is that if this prophet comes to you and he says he's a prophet of God, ask him, is Jesus the Christ? He says, no. Then you are told to reject him. Fair? Yeah. That's what it says there, that look, the spirit that confesseth that Jesus is the Christ is of God, means this is a true prophet. So now, you open chapter 3, I give you the page, chapter 3, chapter 3, this is the book we are presenting you. So, you can open up chapter 3 there, I give page, uh, chapter 3, page, verse 42, chapter 3, page number, 42 will be page 134. Right. Page 134. Very easy to write. Page 134. Page 134. Got it, ma'am? I'm looking at verse 45 now. It says, Behold, the angel said, O Mary, God giveth thee glad tidings of a word from him. His name will be Christ Jesus. You read it, sir? It says in Arabic, Masihu. The same as Messiah. Masih Isa ibn Maryam. Jesus Christ, the son of Mary. So Muhammad is testifying that Jesus is the Christ. That's the book. That's the book of Islam. What do you want to know? That he was born miraculously. The same verses on. You read there, page 40, uh, verse 47, next page. She said, when she's given the good news about the birth of, of the Holy Son, she said, Oh my Lord, how shall I have a son when no man has touched me? He said, the angel says in reply, even so, God created what he willeth. When he had decreed a plan, he but said to it, be and it is. And God will teach him the book and wisdom, the law and the gospel. Talking about Jesus Christ. Muhammad testifies that Jesus is the Messiah, that he is the true messenger of God, and he was born miraculously, which many modern day Christians don't believe today. This is 1,400 year old book that you are reading now. 1400 years ago, this is what Muhammad says about Jesus. That Jesus Christ was one of the mightiest messengers of God. He was born miraculously. He gave life to the dead by God's permission. He healed those born blind and the lepers by God's permission. But he's not God and he's not physically not his son. So now we can reason. He's not God. You still know he's God. He said, let, let us reason. Yeah. Come. The Bible says, come, let us reason together. The Quran says, Ya Halal Kitab, Ta'ala. So people of the book, come. Let's come. Let's talk. What are you afraid of? 